friendos, welcome back. Hey, Samerlin, and Eben, and Emerlin, and Lady. Uh, I don't like playing the same game too many days in a row, and I feel like we were on our way to do that with Call to the Lamb, so I thought we'd change it up, and I still... I want I want to go back to Elden Ring so bad, but I just have to... I gotta get there? I gotta get there. I feel like, I, I feel like we're starting on the same path that I was on with Sekiro. But, uh, I promise. But anyway, I feel, like, dark and miserable and shitty, so this looks dark and miserable and shitty, so... I don't know. Let's check it out. I spent a couple minutes trolling Steam. I don't know. Looks, it looks, you know, like one of those cute little short, creepy spoop games. My uh, green screen isn't quite, can't get it over any further unless I pull something in front of it or uh, I'm just, I'm unwilling to get up. So you're going to have to deal with the green screen being a little weird. Want a game wreck? Uh-oh, what? You're not Seatho, so you're not gonna tell me Final Fantasy. Always looking for game wrecks. Especially if they're terrible. What is this? I saw that. I like looked at that twice while I was looking for this. Is it good? It, the title reminded me of something else. And then I like got myself confused and then I thought it kind of looked like a night in the woods, which was awesome. Like life changing, but had a lot of reading and I'm not quite in the middle or I'm not quite in the mood. Nice. All right. Well, your wrecks have always been on point, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Critically acclaimed Final Fantasy. Wow. Wow. Well, thank you all for having my only my only my best my best at at heart. My best something. I'm so tired. Yeah, sorry I'm late. I I made Grid go to the store with me so he could lift cat litter because I fucked up my back somehow today because I'm in my middle age now. And then when we came home, I had to get out the carpet cleaner, which I'm thankful that there is one here, and try to clean the f carpet of the spare room, which my cats have decided to start peeing on, which I'm not a fan of. I need something better with this camera because I can't... It just... Every time I turn it on, I fuck it up. And then I slouch. I don't know. Oh, I need... What do I need? I don't know. Like, there was a litter box in there, and they were fine for the first, I don't know, month. And that's also why it took me a little longer to realize that they were doing it, because there was a litter box in there. So, yeah, it smells a little weird. But then they weren't using the litter box, and I'm like, hmm. And I was like, well, but I'd see it on the carpet, because I always see it on the carpet. But the problem with this carpet is the carpet is, like, fucking green, which... I still thought I would see it, but the, it's also, like, so thick. It's really thick, so the pee doesn't sit on in a puddle on the top. It just goes straight through to the bottom and is gone. So, I don't know. Hey, Static. I don't... I think... I think... I don't know. The carpet cleaner didn't work great because it's a home model. It's not one of the professional ones, but... Even if I rent one of the professional ones, I think the carpet in that room is going to have to go... I don't know. I'm worried. I don't know where I'm going to put the second litter box. Because technically you're supposed to have as many litter boxes as you have cats, plus one. And four litter boxes is an irrational number of litter boxes. I'm not going to have four litter boxes. I can't. So, I don't know. I don't want to put the second one in the basement now because now they're going to pee in the basement and I'll never notice that. I don't know. So now I've just got two in the same room, which doesn't make any sense, but we'll see. Here's the thing. It's my house. I don't care. I mean, I care, but like, I only care because it's mine. I don't care because I'm worried about it being other stuff. It's, it, I don't have to worry like, oh my God, I'm ruining my landlord's carpet. They're going to charge me. I just have to be like, oh, well, I ruined my carpet. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I love steam cleaning carpet. I, I, I only like the, uh, the machines that you can rent from the store, though. I know that they're suspect because they're usually grody, but they work really well. 
And the at-home versions that you can buy, blow. Like this one. This room is tiny. It's so little, but it took me like three fucking um, fills of the tank to do the tiny little room. Basements are supposed to smell. You're right. But there's still too much stuff in the basement. I don't know. Also, this carpet cleaner, I, I can't, I shouldn't say steam cleaner because this one doesn't even heat the water. So that's the other thing. I think it's like the Bissell machines heat the water so the water's hot. The Rug Doctor machines don't. I've gotten very, I, I very much love steam cleaning day. I, I usually steam clean in the spring. As soon as we open the windows, I get really itchy and antsy and I'm like, Grid, I need to clean all the things. And Grid's like, okay, crazy, let's do it. I'm sorry, we should play game. Where is my mouse? Ugh. I do love my... Never Song is a moving story about loss and hope. It contains themes, including traumatic death, that some may find emotionally upsetting. To those who suffer, know that you are not alone. Please ask for help. Trigger warning, friendos. Once upon a time, there was a boy, an orphan without a single toy. His name was Pete. His world was gray. Until he found a friend one day. It was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the prettiest girl in town. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. From sharps and flats to middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. But on one fateful evening, they went looking for some place to play. Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. And from the shadows, a face of white snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Wren at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell. For Pete into a coma fell. Well, this seems like it's over already. Moosh. Yeah, this is kind of what I was- I was in the mood for something like Limbo, something like Little Nightmares. I feel like I probably shouldn't be starting something new again, but... I don't know how long this is, I should have looked. Almost looks like a ledge up there. Oh, perfect. Shoot. Shit, I should have started earlier. Now we're not gonna have enough time.
A portrait. The word smile. The word smile is scratched into the parchment. I haven't been paying attention to the letters on the doors. Do I have to spell believe? It must be what I have to do. Or maybe smile. Yep, this was a good decision. We make maybe we'll make candles this week. She says like an idiot. Booty Bum Pals, 1952. <laughs> Thanks, Crunk. Banned. Spoilos. Your dusty mattress. Ren's parents are so nice. Sleeping here beats that old orphanage cot any day.
Why is it Slorpy? Something's written on the door in crayon. This hotel is now the property of the exclusive Booty Bum Gang. It's now called Booty Bum Clubhouse and you can suck a big one. Funky. Suck a big one. 2002, 2003. Oh crap, not another interruption. I'm in the middle of jumping to a billion, Pete. I told myself I need to jump to a billion five hundred fifty. It will make me feel amazing. Um, same reason growing my hair out to 1.73 meters will make me feel like a god. My therapist asked me the same stupid questions. Mind your own business, dude. So, can I help you? 1050, 1060, 1070. Considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I'd keep questions like that on the down low. I mean, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped. So the grown-ups went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. All of them? They haven't been back since. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. I, for one, am about to head out to look for my dad because- He does look like Riff Raff. After I finish counting, of course. Okay, well, I don't think you can jump to a billion because I think you'll die. I think you'll die first. There's either an achievement for not breaking any bases or for breaking all of the bases. A message is scribbled on the mirror. CGCC CGCGB. Got it. CGCGB. Oh. Okay. What are we playing, Zelda? Pete, you're finally awake. My heart is full. I was about to adventure out to the Spidarian sewer to look for the grown-ups. I'll admit, my tummy is filled with little butterflies. That coma must have given you a serious case of retrograde amnesia. The Spidarian sewer was our favorite spot last summer. Me, you, Ren, everyone! Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. I heard him screaming. Golly, you don't want to know what I think, my curious friend. If you must know, it is my belief that, well, that your girlfriend is likely dead. Oh, my heart skips a beat just thinking the dreadful thought. Her epilepsy hasn't been great lately, Pete. Epilepsy? I'm not sure how long she'll last. I'd help you find her, but I gotta go check out the Spidarian sewer first. The jukebox is playing an old tune. The screen says it's called Mama Make Me Happy. Locked from the inside, huh? Sorry. Hey! We Stop. honestly didn't think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. It's been a while since you were awake. You really don't remember what happened? Well, Sports. I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. I mean, apparently she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. The kids bro. are saying you got so scared you went into a coma. Don't worry, nobody's judging. You were just too chicken to take care of her. The slug wasn't worth it to you. I get it. Ren's nickname? We all call her the slug. It started as the Red Wind Slugger. You know, because of her epic baseball bat. <laughs> You've forgotten a lot, haven't you, bro? Not sure where she hid it, though. Okay, bro. Fuck!
Ren's vintage baseball bat with a cracking leather grip. This thing aches for a good whacking. My brother in Christ. Me too. I know there's still more to the left that I never went, and now I'm regretting my decision. But, you know? <laughs> Is there a... I don't want to have to put my hand on the mouse. Hey, it's me, Bird. <gasps> you woke up. I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. You sound upset. I just saw Ren. What? Yeah, a man carried her down into the Spiderian sewer. Without her medication, I don't see her lasting much longer. Okay, quick, use that bat to get me out of this cage. <laughs> I'm getting a little cloth. We're going this way first because this seems like story in this direction. Fucking hell. What is that noise? Can't we just bash the doors down with the bat? A heart fizzle. If you collect a hundred of these, you get another heart. Heart fizzle. I see you. It is I, the mighty parkour ninja. Come voice us at your service. Is the name a, a reference? Yeah, I just saw some guy take you down into the sewer. 
the Darien sewer, he was just crawling around, dragging her in a cage. Not sure if that's a problem. Um, I tried to help, honest. But, well, I already told John I'd help him find his dad. So, yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> Dude. Ah, uh, just kidding, Ethan. Um, yeah, Ren taught me how to get on these egg things. Uh, she just never taught me how to get down. Still trying to work that out. Yep. Ren was a parkour legend, dude. She made these sexy magnetic gloves. Really helped me grip these eggs. I call them Gomboitza grips. I think she might have another pair somewhere in her house. Anyways, dude, once I figure out how to get down, John and I are heading to the cemetery. Meet us there if you want to help find his dad. This also kind of feels like costume quest in the way that the kids talk to each other, which honestly, I've been missing. <laughs> Easy though. A coma card. These things are all the rage in Redwind. There's a ton of them hiding all over the place. Be sure to collect and equip to change your outfit. Gamboisa is the kid that thinks he's cool because parkour. He's nice though, so who cares? Hey, Two Face, get over here and help me. I'm stuck. How did this happen? Isn't it obvious, Puke? No. I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. What do you need from me? Give me my sewing needle, Puke Fart. My mom gave it to me for emergency poppage for just such occasions. Those little turds! The spiders! Snatched it right out of my pocket and ran up and- What are you, stupid? Ever since your precious little Ren went missing, things have gotten strange. So hurry up! If you don't get me my sewing needle fast, the spiders are gonna bite my face off! I'm not really upset about that. You know, you've kind of been- kind of been a little bit of a dick. Ooh, I like that emote. Ow. Ow. All right, I very cannot get close to these. jump right there. Good. Oh well. Help! Help! These spiders are gonna eat me alive!
Why sparkle? Why sparkle if no interact? All of, so all of these things that I keep thinking are dangerous are not apparently dangerous. No question science can't answer. Hey, bud. Although I have to admit, all I have are questions. Let's examine the facts. Fact. There's a giant centipede downstairs. Oh? She only seems to respond to smell. Fact. There's some weird man sneaking around Redwind and beyond. I even snapped a photo of him on the water tower in the marsh. Yes, yes. All of these facts are definitely strange. Last! My mind can only fathom the rich rewards of writing my thesis to such bewildering questions. I should get back to work. Nothing a day's reading and research can handle. <laughs> Doctor Smile and a Birdcage. Preston's drawn a diagram in chalk on the roots. Scent a spider. Length, three miles. Age, one week. Properties, deaf, blind, and sleepy. It is possible she was heavily sedated. Notes, elevated heart rate occurs with certain smells, specifically sludge, spider eggs, and sand. <laughs> Okay. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. That must be sand. She's hungry. Wow, this thing is horrifying. I have a theory. Um, never mind. 
It's a little crazy. Let's just keep going. Come on. You're gonna think I'm insane, but I think that might be a grown up. Yikes. Herself kidnapped. She couldn't stand you. Thought you woke up for sand. Do we need slime and spider eggs? I don't know what slime is. Is this slime? man at Ren's funeral <laughs> I am going to do my best to get this motherfucker eaten Big Brogon Boysa. 
Are these a reference? These names have to be a reference that I'm just not understanding, right? You seen him around? Where's the F or F? Like John, he tricked me. I don't think he was actually playing hide and seek. Wish I could beat his butt. I am sick of him tricking me. I can never reach him though on those eggs. Maybe if I had that bat though. Did you know that you can swing upwards with your bat and go a little bit higher than normal? Yeah, swing that bat when you jump and you can go a bit higher like a cool kid. Thanks. gremlin oh yeah that would kind of make sense wouldn't it I don't feel like I am going any higher. I fucked up?
I can't push the block unless there's a button that I don't know about. And there's no controls. What's this called? Never song? Hey, Grid. Okay, it's literally showing me. <laughs> I'm looking for the control scheme, and the answer to the control shows me that I'm supposed to get launched by this lift. I was jumping before the plat, but I just didn't. It didn't seem to get me high enough. There we go. Okay, so it, I I was jumping at the wrong time, and by the wrong time, I mean you can just hold jump forever. This doesn't feel like it's necessary to get me out, which I love. Like, we're just staying here out of spite. We've got other things that we're supposed to be doing, but we're just... We're gonna get this motherfucker eaten out of spite. Horrifying. Yeah, the music is great.
Mommy Master. Screamed from the lengthy esophagus of Mrs. Richardson. Okay. Dude, I'm so confused. Now that I'm thinking about it, I heard Gumboys are talking about this a week ago. Looks like the grown-ups are turning into monsters. That can't be. Anyways. Gumboisa mentioned finding three sleeping monsters. I hate to say it, but I think we need to wake them up to find Ren. They apparently know how to sing. One down, two to go. Quick, let's go play that song we learned on Ren's piano. Uh, sorry guys, hang on. Thank you for helping us help you help us. Damn it, I'm sitting here with my mouth open on my phone texting when I get a raid. Welcome raiders. Hello, hello. How are y'all doing today? Uh Someday I won't be on call. It'll be great. Yeah. This is a Never Song, which is a nice little creepy puzzle platformer. Uh it's it's a night it's it's perfect for the mood that I was in for September. It's it's very disconcerting. The music's great. Thank you, thank you. I got it done Friday. I I this this part right here is is uh it's really funny. This part is called the money piece, which I think is funny. That's like not not I mean like this part on me. I'm not not like I've named my hair the money piece. I mean when hairstylists make this part of your hair different, it's called the money piece. <laughs> Thanks, Siren, Siren Moons. Yeah, it is very music. <laughs> it is. It better be shiny. It's only three days old. I haven't washed it yet. <laughs> so we have just killed a grown-up. Oh. Right, we can save the game. I forgot that, that this was here. Oh. Maybe I can get up there. <laughs> Welcome to whatever this is. I just love these little atmospheric puzzle plat- fuck. I love these little atmospheric puzzle platformers in, uh, in the fall. They're just so- they hit the spot, like, mmm, yum. Well, the kid was a bag of dicks, so I don't- feel that bad. How do I get up there? There we go. Give me another heart. Oh! And card. What do we get? Equipped to wear glasses, he'll likely be the richest of all the children when he grows up. Probably some inventor or something in San Fran. Well, what did that do for me? Do 
I have to do it again? Pete! What was all that racket? Boss fight. Wait, you didn't slaughter my specimen, did you? I was studying her! Yep. Drat! Looks like I'm off to my next research location. I'll see you at the water tower, Pete. I have a hypothesis, and I have to test it. Yeah, I really love how the kids talk to each other. Oh. Yikes. Is that Simeon? What is that? Do I have to go back down? Yeah, he was a giant bag of dicks. He deserved it. So the water didn't like go anywhere. God, I just am in love with this music. Holy fuck. <laughs> well, it the game did refer to it as sludge, so... Fucking Christ. God damn. I don't know if I missed or if I can't do it again. <laughs> With additives, yeah. My god, my back hurts so bad. No matter how I color my hair, I am still middle-aged now. Fine. Oh, we have to go back and play the next song. That's what we have to do. Two thousand twenty, two thousand twenty one. I heard about Simeon's mom. Yeah. I'm not so sure I want you helping me find my dad. She was a giant centipede! I'd kill my own mom if she was a giant centipede! Jesus Christ! Parkour! Parkour! Where you been, dude? Being a hero. Nice. How about you be a hero and join me and John in Neverwood Cemetery? You could use your ripe and shiny biceps. <laughs> Well, what counts as middle-aged, then? Hey, fuck you! Hey! Hey! Give me my friend back! Hey! Fuck you! Well, that would make me, like, 50. The life expectancy for your average adult in the USA is not 100. 45 to 65? Oh. Seagrid? You keep calling me middle-aged. You watch your mouth. I definitely have a stone wall in a moat. I do. is the other song? B 
C D A E. This is a pretty cool house. Yeah. You know, like, I was so scared to turn 30. Well, I was scared, I was scared to turn anything after 17. Cause I didn't realize, well, I, I guess I didn't really identify it until after. But man, I grew up on classic rock. And classic rock is full of pedophiles. Like, like, jeez. You know, edge of 17, like... All of these songs where if the, nothing was, nothing referred to anyone beyond the age of, like, 19. So I thought my peak was supposed to be 19. But I felt shitty as hell at 19. And then I was sad when I turned 30, and then I turned 31, and I'm like, oh, actually, actually this doesn't suck that much. Actually, this is okay. And I feel like every year after, it just keeps getting better. However many years after it's been. Oh, I don't like that. I want the headband. That is true, I do feel that. Grid, I literally just saw that post on Tumblr. Get off Tumblr. And you didn't see it on post. You, you, you didn't see it on Tumblr, you probably saw it on 9gag. But get off the internet! I am rediscovering things that I used to love and then things that I unabashedly love now, which is very nice. So, no, don't leave. Just kidding. I don't think there were any magnetic balls down there, right? Well, no, there was one. Should we go back down there? I kind of don't want to. There was a pendulum by the piano? That one didn't- we didn't stick to that one, though. was an orange. Oh, gay pride! Yes. My bird's gay! Ow. All right. Why is it wiggling like that? Yeah, my eyesight has been getting worse steadily for years. Or maybe it's been holding and I just have never gotten the right prescription ever. Ah. 
<laughs> well, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get an umbrella later, so... I have realized that swinging hurts. Like, the normal size swings fucking hurt your hips. Maybe it's just because I have serious wide birthing hips or something, but... I, I, I went to a park with Baker relatively recently and we sat on the swings for a little while and like, they hurt. Which is bullshit. I loved swinging so much. I want to go down there, but I haven't saved in a while. Why do I get, why did I get grass? I don't think it was the buckles. I think it was literally just the compression. Yeah, I, I, I'm constantly sad that my balance is not as good as it used to be. It's easier when you're shorter. It did say trigger warning death, so... Hey, is it really you? Ren's boyfriend? What if we're all dead? Ren's the best thing ever. Anyway, wanna hear an extra shady secret Gamboisa told me? Gamboisa told me if you swing your bat while hanging on vines, you can swing faster. Show off to me and give me a thrill by swinging your back while on the vine to get over to that ledge to your right. Good lord! Yeah, but that was my prerogative! The death that upsets me is the death that I have no control over. I've just received the thrill. Something is etched in this stone slab. In honor of the dead, please keep quiet. Also, touching the tombstones is disrespectful and really an awful thing to do. The slug will F you up. I replaced a- last time I was- Well, I suppose it was the first time I have gone to visit Gramps, but the last time we were at the cemetery, there was a, a tombstone next to Grandma Gramps that had gotten knocked down, and I heaved it back up as grit is like cringing, not necessarily because it's a tombstone and I'm touching it, but because it's a gigantic fuck all, several hundred pounds of granite, and I'm probably gonna drop it on my dumbass foot. I didn't, but uh, you know. Probably haunted. Oh crap, I'm literally breaking the tombstones. That seems dumb. 
Maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to the scary guy over here. Oh, God. It was him again, that Dr. Smile, singing softly a lullaby. Sleep quiet, my precious babe. Don't let your eyelids settle Singing is against the rules. While he was sitting in front of the tombstones of my grandparents showing proper respect, I was desecrating the other dead. Definitely the next boss. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, he's he's Lorby. Gross. I never thought I was gonna get out of there. <laughs> yeah. I'm genuinely sorry about everything, Pete. Me too. I should stay here with my mom. Okay. I just wish I could tell you everything. I'm just not sure you will understand. Anyways, I won't be much help to you this time around. Okay. How's it going? I'm Gun Tower Number Three. You're Ren's best friend, right? My big brother Gun Boyser thinks she's God. Anyways, thanks for getting me out. I teach you a secret if you want. You can cut those vines at the X point if you have a sharp enough weapon. If you cut them, they drop those orange bomb thingies. Cool, right? That bat you have, though, might not be sharp enough. My sister might be able to help you there. Oh God. Well, that was too far. You too. Oh, shucks, Pete. You're such a good friend. It's so cool that we're parkour pals. Parkour, parkour. 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 Nah, I've been too busy looking for John's dad. Captured three other adults though. Careful though. I just got him to go to sleep. 
They start screaming again. It's sure to wake up that monster. Look, I'm not gonna keep explaining things like this. Bye. It's time to grow up, pal. Okay. <laughs> Why doesn't she talk? Want to be able to cut those vines at the X point? The bat ears won't really cut it. Get it? Cut it? Anyways, if you go find my box of nails, I can make you bat spiky and awesome. You'll be able to cut those vines. Vines drop eggs and eggs explode. Get it? <laughs> yep, bye. Okay, there was definitely one of those in... In the well. <sighs> this is surprisingly difficult. Why do they have a tiny testicle? I think that's a song we already have. 5020, 5021. Hey, man. Just about to give up looking for my dad. Why? I can't seem to find him anywhere. No skin off my nose, though. It's kind of cool. Running around without parents, eating bacon every night before bed. 3.5 strips of bacon. No more, no less. Things really haven't been better. As long as you can stay away from the grown ups, life is good. It's scary when they chase you. You look scared. Maybe you should stick to sleeping. You seem to be really good at that. Alright, so what's that top song? D E B A B? D E B A B? Do we have that one? I don't remember. G E E Oh no G D E <laughs> I played the flu. I can only read the top notes. It's a K. Pretty sure there's no K on the staff. I might be wrong. Kebab. of nails. Let's take him back to Gomgrosa. Oh, crap. This place was really special to you guys, wasn't it? Ren. We've got to get her back.
You found my nails! Good for you. Proud of you. Let me make that bat of yours sharp enough to cut that vine at the X point and get the bomb. Nice. Booty bum cotton. Beautiful. Equipped to take off your shirt. Not really Pete's friend, but he's weird enough to come across as nice. Skunky's younger brother. I don't think we've met Punky yet. Oh good, they grow back. Fucking Christ. I hate this. Sorry, I gotta stop doing that swear. Maybe. That can't be the answer. Fuck. I had a two-day migraine that ended sometime this morning. There we go. And my head's starting to feel like a little weird. And now I'm panicking. Like, don't come back! Thank <laughs> you. 
I think we're just- we've just been in a coma the whole time. No, it's not really a hangover, and even though, like, I mean, I think- I think wine did trigger it. It wasn't a hangover, I just am not used to drinking wine, and then, like, Baker and I, when we went out, we- we went to some fancy restaurants and they had, like, natural wine. Which, and I had like orange wine, which I've never had before. And I think it just, probably some sulfate balance or something that was just not working with my skull. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Honestly, I, you know, a lot of people get the, uh get that like several day migraine hangover and I really kind of don't usually I usually feel really tired but I don't usually feel like bad for multiple days it's weird I don't know I I don't I don't know I didn't really look into it I was more interested in hanging out with Baker I don't know It's a thing. I wasn't extremely paying attention. So we have to come back to all these places. Why? Yeah, because these spiders look like brains. Something is etched on the rock. I hereby swear to forever and ever be best friends. Pink ah. and red. That makes sense. Just means I can charge you like fifteen dollars a glass. Yeah, so we'll have to come back for that.
Well, I think I figured out the speedrunning trick to this. Daddy Destroyer. Mr. Toyn screamed at you, screamed this at you as you sliced his weird orb thing. Great. Great work, Pete. But don't you feel a little bad about John's dad? Yeah. Oh well, what's done is done. Ooh, oh well. Let's head. Super secret again? Show off me and give me a th <laughs> Looks like the Booty Bum Gang's fort. Pizza roll, soda, TV. <laughs> Punky and his gang really know how to party. What's up with this music, though? Yikes. Hmm, uh, let me listen. Why did you leave me for him? He's such a prick. I hate his guts. I hate you. Man, this is high quality music right here. <laughs> Punky and his gang were dead serious. Wanted. Stupid Pete, Ren, and Gumboisa. Dude, wanted. Hmm. I'm very much enjoying this. I always hesitate to like ask in case. Nice. Watch out for Punky. That's me. 
Punky. Simeon said I should go and find him some help, but I'm too busy dancing. Do you like my dance moves? It's my birthday. I'm so proud of myself for turning another age. I'm finally old enough to start learning how to math and how to science. Nah, wanna hear the real reason I'm dancing? Well, a sneaky spider came up and whispered in my ear. Wanna know what he said? He said, Dr. Smile is gonna eat your thighs. <laughs> Did Sexy. You hear that? <laughs> Ren and her dad made these and decorated the whole of Red Wind. Perfect. Elizabeth. Kind of expected the nail bat to do a little more damage. God, I've got like, I don't know, stomach something too. I'm a mess today. Maybe later. Sucks. All right, there was definitely uh, one of the kind that you could break in here, but I don't remember where it was.
Oh, come on. I do not want to wear this. Well, I actually think we might be about halfway through this, to be honest. Let's go back to the house. And I, I'm so sorry, guys, but I might have to end early. My back is just suddenly extremely unhappy. But then that'll make, I don't know, two relatively okay-ish streams as opposed to one normal stream and one 10 minute long stream. Also, if the migraine comes back, I will take my whole head off. Oh, God! Oh, God! Well, now I just straight up murdered someone. Yikes. First the storm rolling in, and now crazy grown-ups? What's next? everybody okay so we can definitely get in all right first I want to try Okay, that didn't do anything. B B D E A. We can skate. Ah, that's that'll take us out to the left. All right, friends. I am so sorry because I'm very much enjoying this, but I have to go lay down, or I think I'm going to die. Um, but we're we'll, gonna finish this up tomorrow. It is not that long, uh, so tomorrow will be a a finishing up stream, and then we'll see what's up. But anyway, friendos, does anybody have anybody that we should raid? I don't have anybody on my list that's going right now, but we have a good a good group. I should send them to somebody. If y'all got any friends, let me know. Whatever you want. We're going to raid the bed. Whatever, whoever you got. Blind Soma runner? Somebody do something. Grid, you got commands. Do the command, Grid. All right. Have a good night, everybody.